hello everyone welcome to nt farms in today's video i'm going to talk about vaccination i'll be telling you the mistakes that we made earlier in our vaccination process and these mistakes actually cost us some of our beds or our chickens so i'll be telling you about how we made corrections so you do not make the same mistakes <music> into that if you have already subscribed then welcome back but if this is your first time here remember to subscribe to the channel we talk about poultry farming pig farming and we also talk about how we solve our daily problems on our farm so you're welcome so i mentioned earlier that i was going to tell you about some of the mistakes that we made in our vaccination process and this happened with our first fowl pox vaccination that was at eight weeks this was the first time that we had to vaccinate the birds via injections for previous vaccinations we added the vaccines to their water but for this particular one we had to inject them and i have to mention that for that process we were not able to get the vet to come because we were getting so many excuses so we had to go to them they showed us how to vaccinate the chickens and then we had to do it ourselves so the plan was to divide the chicken pen into two one side was going to be for the vaccinated beds and the other side was going to be for the beds that were not vaccinated our chicken pen is 50 by 50 feet and our beds are approximately 1500 so the plan was to divide the room into two with a polythene sheet we reused the polythene sheet that we used um, for the brooding process so basically we split the room into two put all the beds on one half and then we were going to vaccinate them and then transfer them to the other half and there were four people who were going to partake in this exercise two people catching the beds and two people doing the vaccination that was the plan and everything was going to be fine everything was going to be good but then as we are going according to the plan we realized that some of the beds in the corner are weak and out of breath and this is because as they were trying to avoid being caught they got crowded in one corner and there was a stampede and guys some birds actually died from this i cannot express how we felt after this happened because all these birds were healthy there was nothing wrong with them they died because of poor planning on our part so this was a very sad moment on the farm everybody was sad so at the end of the day the plan was not successful number one we lost a number of beds and for the bears that did not die it was a stressful process for them number two the process was not the best for the people doing the vaccination it took a long time to vaccinate them since the beds were running around and we we're also running around trying to catch them after this happened we learned our lessons and went to the drawing board and decided to change a couple of things and for the next file pox which was at 12 weeks we did these changes or we implemented these changes number one we increased the number of people who were doing the vaccination from four to six three people were doing the catching two people were doing the vaccination and one person was going around to make sure the beds were fine and they were not crowded in a particular corner the second thing that we changed was that instead of running around chasing after the beds what we did was we used a wire mesh to corner a few beds about 20 at a time 
before catching them to stop them from running around now this was going to solve two problems the chickens would not be stressed out from running around trying to escape us and we would also not be stressed from running around chasing after them after catching them we took them to be vaccinated and after that we placed them in the other half for the vaccinated beds and this process was so simple and easy we completed this exercise in about how the time that we used for the first vaccination the beds were not stressed out the workers were not stressed out and that is what good planning does or how it helps this shows that planning is very important in poultry farming or farming in general you should always have a plan on how to execute things in a better way this process saved us time it saved us energy on both parts and it was successful no chicken died it was quite sad we lost those beds in the first exercise but the thing in poultry is that there are always going to be surprises so you need to be strong and move on and do better and that is exactly what we did and that brings me to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe share our videos like and leave a comment thank you so much for watching bye